In this project we're going to make Delrin notary seals with a laser engraver. Specifically when we get to the print driver this will be we'll be using an epilogue but the same principles apply to any laser engraver. This is the overall template which is available to anyone who asks which includes actually the final seal here, some notes back in the guides layer. Then I have some step-by-step -step instructions over here, some notes that, some critical notes that make the whole thing work. So I have a four by two page and actually I have a seal ready to be printed right at this moment. I'm going to delete the active ingredients for that and we'll start from scratch. Notice though that the red fence necessary for Epilogue's rubber stamp mode is locked so it can't be deleted and will be printed. That'll be the, the fence, everything inside there, the rubber stamp mode will invert. Next we need to decide whether we're going to make a deboss or an emboss die. I'm going to select deboss but the first thing I'm going to do is make some modifications. There's our, the copy we want. Extremely simple, but no matter how complex it is, the principle is the same. Just for kicks, I'm going to dress that up just a little. I'm going to throw uh, a little bit of graphics inside that part. So now we have our finished part. I would call your attention a note down here that reminds us that everything inside of here is a closed shape, not a line, but a closed shape and has no outline. Then only the cutout line has an outline on it and that is hairline or less. So having completed this, I'm going to drag a box around that and drag that into the female slot. Anywhere in there will be fine based on what we're doing. And then I, before I release, however, I'm going to press the right mouse button. That duplicates it. So if I screw this up, we have a place to start back here. And now with that still selected, I'm going to convert that to curves. Arrange convert to curves. Next step, now that that's a curve, I'm going to mouse smear that. I'm going to grab that leftmost handle and drag it over here to where it's about a duplicate, but somewhere along the line I'm going to hold the control key down before I press the right mouse button, which duplicates that. Then I release the mouse button first and finally the control key. That's what I call mouse mirror. Some people call it flip invert. But what we have, perfect replica of that which is on the left side, only it is inverted. Now I come back to the female, select all of that, and I'm going to combine that. Either the combine icon, or arrange and combine, or the hotkey control L. Now the female is all one shape. Next I'm going to fill that with black. Then I'm going to change the outline to 25 thousandths instead of 1 thousandths. I want 25 thousandths there. And then I'm going to make that white. I'm going to right click on white. Left click fills. Right click outline. So I beefed up that white a little. But now because we combined that earlier, we lost our vector cutout. So I'm going to come back to this part, grab the right, I'm selecting just the ellipse, select the right handle, drag it about to the location, but somewhere along the line I hold down the control key and then right mouse button, releasing the mouse and finally the control so we have mouse mirrored over that. Let's uh, zoom up on that just to be sure we see what we have there. Now we're ready to print that. 
So let's click on print. I've selected an epilog laser. We'll go to preferences. Be sure we have our 4x2 page size the way we're doing it, leaving all that garbage off to the size. We'll want to use this method, and then we, because it will print only what's on that 4x2 page. The numbers here are not really important because that'll differ based on your laser, the wattage, and so forth. But I have got 30% speed and 100% power, which I think would be about right for a 50 or 60 watt. And then I'm going to come back and cut that out using 20% vector speed and 60% power. Critical to this method of making notary seals is we need shoulders on both the male and the female dies. We do that by going to advanced and using the laser's rubber stamp mode. I'm going to tell it stamp mode on instead of basic and while you can dinker with these settings I normally just leave them at their default. So having put that in shoulder mode or stamp mode we should be set. We'll double check our final settings here. So we'll OK that and finally print it. And there we have completed notary seals.